It's pretty much every kid's fantasy. Getting the chance to romp around with actual breathing, roaring, real life dinosaurs. But since time travel is probably not going to happen anytime soon for us, ah! you may wonder will it ever be possible to clone dinosaurs from preserved DNA found in amber, like in Jurassic Park? Seems easy enough in the movies, but how would that process work in reality? First, some facts about why animal DNA might be found in amber in the first place. Amber is fossilized resin from now extinct trees that flourished millions and millions of years ago. And since it was formed through the biological process of a living organism, in this case a tree, that means that amber is an organic gem. And when it comes to organic gemstones, amber is on the older side. The much older side. The oldest amber dates back to the Paleozoic era, approximately 230 million years ago. Inclusions or turtle characteristics of gemstones are often present in amber. Ancient flora like moss, pollen, pine needles, and leaves are found preserved in amber, as are fauna, like small reptiles, amphibians, and insects. There are specific names for amber found in different parts of the world, but some of the most interesting specimens are called Burmite. That's amber found in Myanmar, the country formerly known as Burma. So how about the DNA? A DNA strand like me is a blueprint for building a living thing. Well, in 1992, researchers from the University of California, Berkeley announced they were able to extract gene fragments from a 40 million year old amber preserved bee. But in the years since, other scientists couldn't replicate those findings. It's suspected that the original findings may have been contaminated in some way. Nay, it was an old sample and mistakes happen. Since the DNA extraction techniques have greatly advanced over the past 20 years, biologists at the University of Manchester in the UK tried their own experiment in 2013. In a specialized DNA research facility, scientists in Manchester attempted to extract DNA from insects in a much younger amber-like substance called copal. Copal is a hardened form of resin that's identical to amber in appearance and similar chemically, but it's much, much more recent in origin. Think a few thousand years as opposed to a few million. In fact, some scientists argue that some deposits of copal may only be around 200 years old, and since there hasn't been enough time for it to harden, copal is a lot softer than amber. Unfortunately, they weren't able to find any DNA. And since they were unable to extract anything from the much younger copal samples, it's very unlikely usable DNA could be extracted from amber. Uh -uh. You didn't say the magic word. So even though cloning a dinosaur is still in the realm of science fiction, there are other incredible things to be found in amber. Recently, a small wingless insect preserved in amber was found in Myanmar. Researchers from Oregon State University were able to determine this 100 million year old specimen was unlike any other insect ever discovered. The long dead bug was perhaps an omnivore, had glands on its neck that secreted some kind of defense mechanism. Gross. And because of the placement of its eyes, it's possible it was able to turn its head to get a 180 degree field of vision. In fact, this little guy, the researchers called an ET, was so unique that it was placed in its own scientific order. Never before seen alien like bugs not enough to wow you? How about this? 99 million years ago, that is a full million years after our insect friend bit the dust, a newly hatched bird also met its sticky end in a glob of resin. But this species of bird isn't an ancient ancestor of the birds we see today. Its lineage is actually extinct. And it's a shame this group of birds is dead because they are insanely cool. Some of those ancient birds had teeth in their beaks and clawed fingers on their wings. Not only is the specimen very well preserved, there's a lot of him preserved. The head, feet, wing, and feathers are all still there. And speaking of feathers, how about these? This dinosaur's feathers were preserved in amber, along with its tail, bone, and soft tissues. This sample was found in an amber market in Myanmar. The seller thought the inclusion was just a plant fragment, but luckily a Chinese paleontologist discovered the specimen. The dino, when living, would have been about the size of a sparrow, and like we said, it had feathers. Here's the thing, sedimentary fossils are rarely able to provide this much of detail of a preserved life Forms. and fossilized discoveries in amber throughout the decades have helped change the way we visualize dinosaurs. Even as recently as Jurassic Park, we thought of them as scaly lizard-like monsters, but more and more scientists are learning that many dinosaurs were similar to present-day birds. Birds are descended from dinos, after all. So when you really think about it, we already are able to romp around with dinosaurs, except they tweet instead of roar. Have you ever been trapped in a gooey mass of resin? Head to the comments and tell us how you escaped. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you really want to learn more about Amber, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.